So Tony Abbott has decided that enough's enough. No more government bailouts for failing industries. Doesn't matter who they are or where they are, it's over. And the latest victim, of course, is SPC Ardmona, the last fruit cannery left in Australia, based at Shepparton, and they have been told no. Their parent company, Amatil Coca-Cola, had asked for 25 million each from the federal and Victorian governments to restructure. Unfortunately, while the Victorians said yes, the Fed said no, so Amatil said, right, we're pulling out. End of story. The Feds have a case. I mean, Coca-Cola Amatil's a profitable company, and last year, in fact, the first six months of this year, declared a profit of some $215 million. So you'd think it was a bit rough of them to come cap in hand to the government for another 25. But, like any big company, Coca-Cola Amatil's got to have every section functioning well. If one doesn't, OK, it gets lopped off, unless somebody supplies a bound day. Eh? And it looks as if Ard Mona, a great Australian brand, almost up there with Passiona and Vegemite, is about to be the next loppy. And at this stage, I have to declare an interest. Some 50 years ago, during a brief and inglorious career in advertising, I was working at a London agency called Greenlees, and Greenlees had several Australian accounts, among which was Ardmona, which was given to me to look after. Now, this wasn't a big deal. Most of the advertising was the same as last year's, as most advertising is. Ardmona, the fruits of Australia's sunshine. Tempting the palms to invest in tins of pears and peaches. And after a while, I got rather bored with this. So noted in fact that Ard Mona is an anagram of no drama and decided it was time to do something about it. So I went to Cornwall and suggested that what we should do was a pictorial commercial of Ard Mona coming in on a kang with a kangaroo on a surfboard delivering it from the kangaroo's pouch. Very Australian, very sunshine, very fruity. We finally found an actor who was prepared to get into the kangaroo suit, but he found that somehow he couldn't balance on the surfboard in a kangaroo suit. So after a few beers at lunchtime, I devised the solution of nailing the tail to the board. The kangaroo's tail was firmly nailed to the board. Unfortunately, this didn't work either, and the kangaroo, as they say, turned turtle. And was it prescient? Was I aware even then that Hard Mona was eventually doomed? Perhaps so. Perhaps it was better for everybody if I went straight into journalism and abandoned advertising on the spot, which I did. I'm Mungo McCallum.